We've got breaking news for you right now. A brand new Fox News poll just then, and Donald Trump holds a commanding lead in South Carolina. In fact, he leads the GOP pack big time. He's at 35%. You see it right there. Ben Carson, surprisingly to many, still in second place, but way back at 15%. Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio both coming in at 14% each. And now, the question everybody has been asking, did Donald Trump's proposal on banning Muslims from entering this country hurt or help him? Take a look at this. His support before his comments was just 30%, skyrocketing among GOP voters to 38%. On the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton, she also soars ahead of Bernie Sanders. She now sits at 65% support. Joining me now, Darren Shaw, Republican consultant for uh, the Fox News poll, Mercedes Slap, former Bush spokesperson, and Bo Dietl, former NYP detective and uh, Fox News contributor. Darren, I got to go to you first. Uh, you know, everyone was bracing for this poll to see what the impact would be. Certainly, it's resonating once again among GOP voters, the things that Donald Trump says. Well, it seems like the more we talk, the more we're wrong. Um, you know, we, we hear a lot of uh, comment, commentary in the punditry that uh, Trump's statements are outrageous, they're going to boomerang, it's going to cause all these sorts of, you know, backlashes amongst key Republican constituencies. And yet, this is what, three, four, five times when he's come out with what apparently is an outrageous statement that doesn't play well with the media. But the evidence from the polls suggests that it does not seem to have hurt him. In fact, perhaps the opposite with GOP primary voters. As uh, you said, there was an eight, eight point discrepancy yeah. between pre and post. Uh, you know, Mercedes, uh, and again, the narrative here, the overall narrative is still. Uh, you know, establishment, forget about it. You can, if you argue that Cruz is not establishment, and I certainly would make that argument, then you've got 35, 15, 45 percent, so you've got uh, 65 percent, 60, almost 64 percent uh, for non establishment candidates, and you've got Bush at 5 percent, Christie at 2 percent. These guys are bringing up their rear big time. Is it time for them to throw right. in the towel? You know, I don't think so. It's still, we, ha we have to see when you have the Vote, votes that are being casted. Uh, you know, this is a long process. We might not have a nominee, Charles, into about March 15th or so. So this is going to be a very messy, complicated process. But clearly, at this point, where we stand is the fact that there is this protest on the GOP establishment. And it's, it's being very clearly seen in the numbers that we're seeing, the, just even taking a look at the snapshot of South Carolina with Trump and Carson, where they have been uh, the two both strongest candidates in that state for quite some time. Cruz is interesting. Some of Cruz's backers came out and said, you know, Cruz is the toned down, toned down version of Donald Trump. So again, they're all trying to stay as closely, uh, those pe people right. who are trying to get those votes are trying to stay closely tied to uh, saying, you know, well, I'm kind of like a Donald Trump. And that's, that's what we're trying to see in like the Cruz camp, for example. You know, Bo, uh, Mercedes used the word protest. I think we go further than that. I think the protest was last November. The uh, Republicans came out strong. They put the, they, you know, they gave the party uh, Congress and they did nothing but rubber stamp Obama stuff ever since then. This is more revolutionary than protests in my mind. You know, it's just funny. I talked to Donald for about 10, 15 minutes on Monday morning. Then when this thing hit, I said, oh, my God, he shot himself in the foot. All of a sudden, these things come out. But you know what he's doing? He's hitting on issues that no one else is dealing with, the immigration, the security of the country. Economically, I think he's 48 percentage points in favor, uh, favored with the Republicans. Everything he's doing, he's doing something nobody else is doing. We are all worried about the ISIS coming into America. We're worried about our national security. He's saying it. Now, me, I would have said, Donald, soften it up a little bit. Say we have to verify. If we can't verify these people coming, they should not be allowed in there. But he didn't even do that. He blanketed it. And he still is leading. And it just shows you America, what the majority of the people in the Republican Party, the majority want these issues to be dealt with. And they think Trump leadership, they think he's the person that can do it.